We've got some breaking news as the Boston Celtics are looking to sell the franchise. What? Yeah, that's right. Wick Grusbeck is looking to sell this franchise and it's going in a weird direction. Now as the Boston Celtics just announced Derek White re-signing, five minutes later they have this news dropping. Obviously it's due to the tax, but we'll be diving into all of this and more explaining it to you guys and what this could mean for the Boston Celtics in the future. All of that and more on this episode of Celtics Digest. I'm Bruce Velez. You guys have been absolutely killing it, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. So if you guys make sure you enjoy the content, keep hitting that like button and keep hitting that subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. Let's dive into the content at hand today. Make sure to grab a snack. And like I mentioned in the introduction, Wick, no, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? And what is making us make this decision? Well, guys, if we want to look at this tweet from Adrian Wojnarowski, we can see that Boston Celtics majority ownership group led by Wick Grusbeck is planning to make the franchise available for sale, sources tell ESPN. The investment group purchased the team in 2002. A massive development to one of the sport's most valuable properties is going to be going underway. Kind of crazy to think. Now, if we want to get a little bit more of an inside detailed look at it from Adam Hillsbach, working of the Boston Globe, we can see from him, According to a league source, Celtics majority owner Wick Ruzbeck is looking to sell his stake in the team, as Woji has been reported. But this potential sale is not expected to include the entire investment group that purchased the team in 2002. Basically saying that Wick is looking to just cash out on his side of things, and maybe the other owners will stay and be there alongside with us. Now, I know a lot of things for Celtics fans and Boston sports fans alike is they do not want John Henry to be able to be purchasing this NBA team as he looks to purchase an NBA team after getting a, the Pittsburgh Penguins. And obviously, this is what Celtics fans do not want to happen. But as we all know, the Celtics did just extend Derek White. And this news comes out legitimately like 5 to 10 minutes after, let's see, 3.09 p.m. Can't see that time. But yeah, basically after I record the video, got it up, had everything done, this news drops that Wick is looking to sell Wick is looking to back out, and that's not great. As we all know, the reason why he's looking to back out is due to the fact that the Celtics are a very great team right now, very, very deep into the salary cap, and this could be the highest that this team could sell for at this very moment. As we all know, Holiday, White, Brown, Tatum, Porzingis, they're all going to be back. Horford's going to be back. Porzingis, uh, Pritchard, excuse me, Springer, Shireman, Hauser, Walsh, Cornett, and Kata finishing out that rotation with two more spots available. We all know that Tillman, Brissett, and Mahalo could be those guys to come back, possibly even on those veteran minimum deals. But if they had to start out more money or to start out a bigger role, they can move on elsewhere. But the major gleaming issue of the reason that the Celtics are doing this is due to the fact that $192 million is going into that projected salary. And Wick definitely doesn't have the money out of his pockets to pay for this. Now, I saw on Twitter, and we've talked about this, if you don't follow us on Twitter, follow us on Twitter at Celtics Digest YT to get even more updates revolving around this Celtics team. Some stuff that doesn't get posted on the community page. But over there, we talked about how I thought that Wick Grusbeck at the beginning of this year, I could have sworn on once he traded for Kristaps Porzingis, once Brad Stevens came in, they had a little introductory meeting, and there were things that Wick Grusbeck said where he's willing to pay money this offseason, he's willing to shell out new things. On media day, they were very, very hyping up the fact that Wick Grusbeck was willing to shell out all this money to pay these guys to make sure everybody's staying. And then we see this come out, literally a bombshell, right after they get a big steal in Derek White and re retaining him long-term on a cheap contract that is not necessarily team-friendly, but team friendly in their eyes to him going to free agency and commanding 40 million dollars they were able to keep him on a 31 million dollar deal which was estimated on where he'd kind of be around anyways but with the seeing this it kind of gets to the next part to what this means for the boston celtics kind of what does this kind of look for the foreseeable future well if we want to look at this tweet which also just came out from the boston celtics right before i hit record reason doesn't have the background is because i couldn't put it in the generator but here we are Look at this release from the Boston Celtics partners. Boston Basketball Partners, LLC, the ownership group of the Boston Celtics, announced today its intention to sell all the shares of the team. The controlling family of the ownership group, after considerable thought and internal discussion, has decided to sell the team for estate and family planning considerations. The managing board of the ownership group expects to sell a majority interest in 2024 or early 2025, with a balance 
closing in 2028, and expects Wick Grusbeck to remain the governor of the team until the second closing in 2028. So even if Wick looks to sell, looks to move on, this ownership looks to move this team in a different direction to kind of capitalize on the money that they can make with this team being a front runner, it looks like it will take at least a couple seasons to do so, and Wick will still be at the hem helm at least till 2028. That does not put me into any fear as a Celtics fan. The only fear that puts me into is who's going to be the next owner, who is going to be a person that the Celtics look to sell to. Now, with sports, there are a lot of possibilities with this option. We've seen with golf and other you know, directions, the Saudi Arabian leagues trying to spark money and trying to put money into these leagues. Could we see something like that with the Boston Celtics? Could we see, like we mentioned, John Henry, who Celtics fans desperately do not want to see get active in the NBA market with their Boston Celtics. But could he be a guy that could go after the Boston Celtics and try to have a monopoly on these Boston sports? Who knows? Or could we see a different type of owner, somebody new, a different type of finance owner come in? Or could we see something similar with the Timberwolves, where we see an ex-athlete wanting to buy this franchise, similar to how Alex Rodriguez wants to be the owner of the Minnesota Timberwolves and trying to do that, that dispute with Glenn Taylor? We could see something with that with the Boston Celtics, with another athlete from another sport as well. Honestly, the possibilities are endless for the Boston Celtics to look as an, for a new owner, as a new investor. Ultimately, that person needs to be a Celtics fan, needs to be somebody that cares about this city, and needs to be somebody that wants to see this team win. We saw the 16-year drought from 2008 to 2024, and we know how much the city of Boston craved for that championship. I've been to Red Sox parades, I've been to Patriots parades, but let me tell you, that Celtics parade was worth it the drought the fans were feeling it and trust me it could have been just because it was a summer parade there were more people out there but i am letting you know the city of boston wanted that parade for jason tatum for jalen brown for their fans for their city it had been a long time the celtics were the last team to win a championship in boston so finally getting over that hump and eclipsing that was huge for the fans and for the players so for the fact that they want, still want to see this. They still want to see the push for Banner 19, especially with bringing everybody back. Looking at that payroll, we know it's expensive. We've brought everybody back. Holiday, White, Brown, Tatum, Porzingis, Pritchard, Springer, Shireman, Hauser, Walsh, Horford, Cornette. The only three that haven't been brought back are Tillman, Brissett, and Svi. And those three guys can be looked at in other replacements in my eyes for the Boston Celtics, especially with being a second Avery team, as those guys are younger, can still push for more money and can still push for a bigger role in the NBA. Now, ultimately, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. How do you guys feel about all this news? I think it's kind of crazy. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but as long as a Celtics fan or somebody that does like the Boston Celtics or is trusting in the Boston Celtics takes over for this management, I am not worried. I think will be a okay, but drop down your thoughts, drop down your feelings down below in the comment section. Because as you know, we got to get to the comment of the day, which is going to be a big one today as we look at our boy Rob version one. Shout out to Rob. Drop down your comments so you could be featured on the comment of the day. But this is on our Derek White video, which was released right around 15 to 20 minutes ago. So shout out to the people that tuned in right away. Rob, well deserved. My favorite player on the Celtics. Glad he's going to be a Celtic for a long while. Amount is fair, $31 million per sounds about right, especially after a chip win, and I couldn't agree more. Derek White could have commanded upwards to $40 million on that free agency market, so the fact that he was taking, willing to take a little bit of a pay cut to remain with this Boston Celtics team, to push for that championship, to still have a spot integrated with this team, and like I mentioned, he is that key piece for this Boston Celtics core, that guy who kind of overwrote everything that was put on him this season not being a top 100 player not making an all defensive first team not being a guy on an all-star team even though he had the numbers to be Derek White has been putting his name on the map working extra hard to do so and you have to give him his flowers and respect by giving him this massive payday I think it's well deserved let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section once again if you want to make sure you stay up to date on everything revolving around the Celtics team hit that like button hit that subscribe button come join us on Wednesday for our weekly live stream once again we'll be live Wednesday, 7 p.m., breaking down the Boston Celtics free agency, going into more stuff. Hope to catch you all there. Once again, I'm Bruce Velez. Have a great rest of your day, and go Boston Celtics!